knew our own feelings of the ministry. God chose 12 men to evangelize the world. And I don't believe I need to say this, but I must say this. If you're a baptized disciple in the kingdom of God, you are a preacher. Amen. You don't need a physical pulpit to preach. God's giving you your life to preach. Tell your Bible to Acts chapter 3. You know, today we're going to be talking about the very lifeblood of Christian life. This ingredient is so essential. It's the deciding factor of whether you're worshiping the king or living in sin. If you don't have this integral, integral component of discipleship, it is impossible to please God. Today we're talking about faith. Pistis in the Greek, the substance that oozes out of those who, under pressure, press on. Faith, the conviction that separates those who are all in and those who have a back door in their hearts. Faith, the vision that separates those who persevere through the hardships and those who give up at the first sign of difficulty. Faith, the power to look at hopeless situations and believe Jesus is going to fix it. Faith, the strength to stay inspired, even when everyone is uninspired. Faith, the decision to stay encouraged in the midst of discouragement. Do you have faith this evening, my brothers? In Hebrews chapter 11, it teaches that faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. This word being sure in Greek means confident. This word certain in Greek means conviction. So faith is being confident in what you hope for and having conviction of what you do not see. What can steal your confidence? What can cause doubt on your conviction? Sin. Sin. Before I go on, I, I, I want to really call the brothers to, to make a decision this evening. If there's any hidden sin in your heart, decide no more. Decide to get open. When we break off in our D group, decide to speak about that, that sin that's been eating up at you inside. Because if you have sin in your life, you can't preach. You can't have confidence. You can't have conviction. Acts chapter 3. Peter preaches with faith to this beggar at the gate called Beautiful. He's looking for money. Peter says, I don't have any silver or gold. And he performs an incredible, incredible miracle that takes him from begging, being lame, to leaping, jumping, and praising God. It says in verse 16. By faith, in the name of Jesus, this man whom you see and know was made strong. The title of my charge this evening is Preaching with Faith. Preaching with Faith. You see, preaching with faith makes people strong. It takes someone from a place of weakness to a place of strength. Anyone feel weak today? <coughs> you should leave those doors strong. Because all the brothers are going to preach today are preaching with deep conviction and great confidence. It goes to say this in verse 16. It is Jesus' name and the faith that comes through him that has given this man, not healing, complete healing to him, as you all can see. Preaching with faith doesn't give us healing. 
gives us complete healing. You know, this word only appears once in the Greek. Complete soundness. This guy experienced a miracle that no one else in the Bible has been recorded as experienced. Because of Peter's faith that accompanied his preaching. Anyone need healing tonight? You should leave those deals healed. Because the brothers who are preaching tonight are preaching with conviction and great confidence. Preaching with faith produces undeniable miracles. You guys catch it in verse 16? At the very end, as you all can all see. Miracles that's undeniable. You know, this time last year, I began to preach a message to my region that many did not believe. But I had a burning faith to believe that this can be possible. It can be possible. God can move and make it a reality. What was the message? By the end of 2022, we will be in East Village. We'll be inside. I don't know how. We don't have the money. We don't have the finances. But we will get inside that impenetrable Jericho in the East. Please be praying for Jonathan Horn Dillon. Yes. As they're on the verge yes. of performing an undeniable miracle yes. that will strengthen the region yes. and give us complete healing yes. because they're this close to getting to East yes. Village. Yes. My brothers, the call tonight is not to preach. It's to preach with faith. Yes. That's a different kind of person. That's a different kind of disciple. Where you could go into any situation and not care what you see, but know as I come out of this situation, something's going to change. Something's going to change. Everything affects everything. The challenge is simple. Where does faith come from? Ever shared your faith and says, hey, I appreciate you. Yeah, I was never born with faith. What you tell them is no one's born with faith. Faith comes from hearing the message. You haven't heard the message yet. And, and dare I say, I think sometimes as disciples, we, we hear a little bit of the message and we leave with a little bit of faith. If you want more faith, you need more of the message. If you want more faith, you need more of the message. The challenge is simple. Read more of the Bible. Read more of the Bible. Your quiet time in the morning is not enough. It's not enough. Read on your way to work. Read on your way to Devo. Read on your way, wherever you go. And I guarantee you that you will not only preach, but preach with faith. And to God be all the glory. Oh, yeah.